Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. My name is Angel Romero, Manager of Clinical Services here at Scripps Health. I'm here to guide you through a virtual tour of our cardiology departments. We'll meet a few people along the way and take a look at life inside Scripps. Now we're here in the CVICU with Julianne Eigner. Julianne, I have a couple of quick questions for you in regards to the programs you run here at Scripps. First, can you tell us a little bit about the ECMO program? Sure. Thanks, Angel, for having me. Definitely. So um, ECMO is a type of therapy that we deploy in the very, very sick patient population um, that are managed here in the ICU. Uh, we utilize ECMO therapy uh, for respiratory failure, cardiogenic shock, um, and in the setting of cardiac arrest where we can't achieve a meaningful rhythm or blood pressure. Um, it's a type of out-of-the-body mechanical pump where we can oxygenate the patient's blood and we can uh, do the work of the heart um, in the setting of failure. So our volume has triple in the last few years. We do about 50 cases a year um, of all comers of veno venous and veno arterial ECMO. That's great. Can you tell us a little bit about the critical care transport program? Sure. So Scripps is, um, is a system of five hospitals. And about a year and a half ago, we identified a population of patients that really were specialty transports, where our ambulance provider couldn't really accommodate those transports because of specific ventilator settings or devices that the patients were, uh, were uh, utilizing for therapy. So we have uh, developed our own team now of Scripps employees that are ICU nurses who actually work in tandem with our ambulance provider and ride on the ambulance to manage our patients throughout the hospital. Okay. I have one final question for you, and I'm wondering if you could tell us about your journey here at Scripps and why you continue to work here. Sure. Um, I started at Scripps in uh, 2006. I believe I've worked here, I guess that makes it 13 years or so. I started in the CVICU um, as a new grad and trained here and got to see a lot of our programs grow. Um, I moved on into the ECMO program formally in 2016 into, this, uh, into the role of program coordinator and started overseeing the critical care transport team in the fall of 2017. I stay here because I love the staff. Um, there's engaged nurses, engaged physicians, and it's a group of very loyal people who stay here because we love taking care of this patient population and we love now we're here with Rachel Long. Rachel, can you describe the LVAD program? Our LVAD program has been here for a little bit over six years. We've implanted a little over 70 patients. We have implant three different pumps, the HeartMate 3, HeartMate 2, and HVAD. Um, we're a destination therapy center, meaning our patients um, are not eligible for heart transplants, but we do ha implant some bridge to transplant patients here. So it's a very exciting program. That sounds amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey at Scripps and why you want to work here? I've worked here for a little over 14 years. I started here as a student nurse extern. Uh, I spent most of my time here as a CVICU nurse and was able to really develop my career, um, become a CCRN, uh, get my surgical um, nurse uh, certification, then my cardiac medical certification, um, and then become an LVAC coordinator. So I've, it's really allowed me to develop my career here. Thank you, Rachel. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. My name's Jen. I'm a patient care manager of CVICU, and we have 29 beds in our CVICU unit. We're one of two ICUs at La Jolla. We care for cardiac patients. We do open heart surgery patients with a volume of one to five every day during the week. We also care for complex patients requiring devices such as balloon pump, CRT, Impella, LVAD, and ECMO. We pride ourselves on education and teamwork, and we strive every day for excellence, not only in our unit, but also in the organization. La Jolla is unique in that we use mentors in our units who are dedicated to patient safety, our quality metrics, and education uh, at the bedside in real time. We currently have four months of no CAUTI, CLAPSI, and C. diff, which we're very proud of. Can you tell us what's unique about your department? Sure. So at La Jolla, we are unique in that we have mentors in all of our units. So for ICU, we have someone that is pulled out of the count for bedside nurses and is dedicated to educating nurses in real time, um, also dedicated to quality metrics. And we currently have no C. diff, CAUTI, or CLAPSI for the last four months, which we're very excited about. 
Um, we also have a lot of teamwork in our fast paced environment. And um, one fun fact is that we started a unit practice council last year in May, and they've worked on a lot of things implementing standards since we went live with Epic. And their most recent project is the beginning of shift huddles that they do for five minutes where they introduce new staff, talk about um, new practice changes, and talk about what's going on in the unit. So that has been a really good addition um, to fostering our new nurses on the unit. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed taking a tour of our facilities. Please bring your questions to the virtual career event on February 27th. We'll see you there.